Hi Infos here. It's been a while since my last YouTube video. That's not because there haven't been any changes to week hours, but I've been focusing on bug fixes and minor features in the last months, and those aren't really suited for a video. But I think there are enough small features that a quick video is worth it. So first up are major improvements to the templates. A user, Nighthawk, reported a lot of missing items and spells. And in addition to fixing those, I also reworked the organization of the templates. There's now a legendary list per class. And I'm looking for feedback on the templates. Have you ever created an aura with it? Or was the feature unknown to you? Do you think it'll be a worthwhile feature to keep for battle for Azeroth? Let me know with a comment. The second feature I recently added is a slanted mode for progress textures. I've prepared a few progress textures showing how that looks like. In the options, you can configure how slanted the edge should be and the exact behavior of the edge. I've recently added a range checking trigger to week out. As you probably know, inside weight instances, ranges can no longer be accurately measured. We are using the lip range check library to estimate the range. That gives us an upper and a lower bound to the range. The third feature I want to mention is that you now can reorder triggers with those small up and down buttons. And the same is true for conditions. Next up is the improved copy and paste code. It's now possible to, for example, copy the condition set up from one aura to a different aura. If you want to know more about those features or all the other work that goes into maintaining a popular add-on, be sure to check out my Patreon page. That's all for today. Thanks for listening.